night we're asking what is happening to boxing in the country or should we ask what knocked out what was once the epitome of Kenyan sports in the 70s and 80s? There was a time when Kenyan boxers were ranked as the best in the continent. However, the good old days are gone and nostalgia has replaced the good stories that came from the social halls across the country. Moses Wahisi examines the issues bedeviling the sport in the country. Once upon a time, a mention of boxing and Kenyan boxers came in mind, and the opponents would shiver if they were paired against the Kenyan pugilist. Ken dominated in the Commonwealth Games in 1982, 1990, and 1994. During that era, social halls including Kumwani Social Hall, Karyoko Social Hall, Madare Depot Social Hall, and the famed Madison Square Garden in Nakuru crunched out of boxers who would later conquer the world. Today, just a few boxing rings in selected holes are active and aligning the death of the sport. But according to John Kameta, the Amateur Boxing Association Kenyan president, the future of boxing is not at the social halls anymore. We have already started a new way of doing boxing, field boxing. We are not going back to the social halls. In the years of Kenyan boxing glory, the Puglis had their plates decorated by different corporate brands. That apart from offloading some of their bills, they also offered employment opportunities. Together with the well-structured league, the Kenyan boxers had no reason not to sparkle. <laughs> Maybe that's another reason that makes the current crop of Kenyan boxers feel neglected. When I started boxing, it was a it was a well, it was a good career, but along the way, it's for fit, it's like for fitness. There was a time when this gym at the heart of Pumwani was teeming with activity. Not anymore. And that does not mean that boxing talent died. There is simply no motivation. Even Kenyan star Eton Okwiri, who kicked off his chest for the 2016 Rio Olympic ticket in a resounding style, knocking out top seed Austrian Marcos Nada in the preliminary welterweight bout in the AIBA competition last week, is a disappointed man. At least we can to Philippia. We support you to go to the city. We are going to be able to get the city. We are going to the same time. We are going to be the I wrote over 28 letters. Even I wrote some letters to big hotels here. I don't know how uh, people are marketing their, their establishments. I went to, to Kenya Tourism Board. I wrote to them. They have touched me like I'm looking for money to take my kids to school. Controversy off the ring gives others a platform to question the driving factor that places Kenyan boxers in competitions against opponents who enjoy wider exposure and experience. To query my coaches, I'm about one and two, what is the other boxing in Abutakana. The county governments have been accused of failing to do their part in respect of funding the sport. Up to now, the president of a federation, a strong federation like boxing, I've never had a meeting with my minister. I've tried 
to, 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 to book meetings. I don't know what we should do. The real hit squad is remembered for the exhilarating performance of power punching, quick fit, stylish moves and hitting the target accurately. The former nationals, however, feels neglected and fouls the current crop of boxing leadership. For a country that produced African first Olympic boxing gold medalist, it is a sad reality that Kenya has seen its fortunes tumbling for years now. Clubs like Madison Square in Nakuru, Pumwani and such like need to be revived and bring back the boxing steam that once existed. It is a fact that the standards of Kenyan uh, boxing have gone down in the recent past. But one important thing that needs not to be taken for granted is that Kenya has talent that needs to be capped and nurtured. Moses Wahisi, KTN Sports.